Liquidity is a relative measure of how quickly and easy it is to trade one asset for another. The most liquid asset you can find is cash. Why? Because you can exchange pretty much anything you want for cold hard cash. On the other hand, if you look at real estate, you quickly notice that finding a house buyer takes way longer than finding someone that wants to buy a share from Apple or Google. And in the case of selling a house, you might even have to lower the price over time. Real estate markets have less liquidity than big company stock markets. But assets of the same type aren't equal when it comes to liquidity. If you wanted to buy $10,000 worth of Bitcoin, you would be able to do it quickly and at the moment you wanted for the price you wanted. And the impact your order would have would probably be less than 0.1% price increase. But try to use the same $10,000 to buy a small cap coin. The market is way less liquid and you might have a hard time to execute the trade at the price you wanted. Also, the impact of your order could go beyond 5 or 10%. But why liquidity matters? Markets with a better liquidity allow its participants to enter or exit an investment position faster and at fair price. Let's go back to the real estate example we used before. If you're not in a hurry, you can put your house for sale at a fair market price and wait a few months until someone appears willing to pay that price. But if for whatever reason you need to get your hands on that cash fast, you will have to keep lowering the sell price to start attracting more potential buyers. Same logic is true for any other markets. Markets where it's easier to find buyers and sellers, also known as high liquidity markets, tend to attract more participants to it, because investors can open and close positions at any moment they want. Every market participant have a different reason to buy or sell an asset, and maybe even more important, when to do that operation. Imagine that you wanted to buy a Bitcoin one year after Satoshi Nakamoto mined the first block. At the time, it was an illiquid market and was pretty hard for buyers and sellers to meet each other at the exact moment they wanted to trade. The rise of both centralized and decentralized exchanges created places for buyers and sellers to meet, but market makers and liquidity providers play a major role on improving the liquidity of those markets. Let me tell you a story. Imagine a market that only have three players, Alice, Bob, and Charlie. Bob, a crypto miner, receives one Bitcoin as mining reward every month. But he can only put his Bitcoin for sale once a month. If no buyer shows up, he has to remove the sell off. Alice is looking to buy one Bitcoin every month. If Alice isn't at the market at the same moment Bob is selling his Bitcoin, she'll have to wait a whole month for Bob to post new sell offers. The result is a market that's pretty much illiquid. Charlie decides to improve this market liquidity by acting as a market maker. For the whole month, Charlie keeps up a buy offer until Bob decides to sell his mining rewards. When that happens, he immediately creates a new buy offer to wait for Bob. Then he adds a small profit margin, also known as spread, and creates a sell offers that he keeps open for a whole month until Alice appears to buy. That way, Charlie, as a market maker, is improving the liquidity of this market by allowing Bob and Alice to execute the trades at any moment they want. Market Makers provides a service by constantly creating buy and sell offers allowing other participants to enter and exit positions at any moment at a fair market price. Without market makers, liquidity would be way worse across all markets. With Humbot, a free and open source trading robot, anyone can create a market making strategy. With the Humbot liquidity mining program, individuals can be rewarded for providing liquidity for cryptocurrency projects and projects can increase their token liquidity with the power of the community. 